Hello, my name is Irene Tracy from Smoothie Health and today I'm going to do a video exclusively for people in wheelchairs or people who have limited mobility and can really only do the exercise and do smoothie from their chairs, okay? So before we start, what I would just like you to note is it's best to do this in your bare feet. So I always do my smoothies in my bare feet. And this is so that the vibrations are not absorbed by the material of your shoes, or your runners, the plastic or the leather. So it's always best to do your smoothies barefoot. And if you can sit out in the garden, all the better and have your feet emerged in the grass or the soil and do some grounding that's absolutely the best way so before we start what i would like everybody to do is to really get the feeling of what the vibrations does to your body i would like to do a little uh, demonstration here so if we all put our smoothies on our left hand side the left leg or leave the smoothies down and take your right leg and just lift it up. So just lift it to a weight that feels comfortable, a height that feels comfortable, and remember the weight of it, you know, and if you hear, you might hear my knee just creaked there. If you notice if you have a stiff knee or if your legs are heavy in particular, and a lot of cases when people are in wheelchairs or they have lack of mobility, they often find heavy legs or you get restless legs. So you really notice the difference with these. So what I want you to do is lift your leg, remember that weight, now get the smoothies, hold them, one hand on either side and just start from your knee. Okay, so we're only starting from the knee. And we're going to slowly come up your leg. So we're going to spend three minutes doing this. Just going up and down the leg, just so you have the feeling of what the vibrations are actually doing inside your body, okay? So very slowly, we're just moving up here, so we're not even halfway up the leg yet. And just ensure that the balls are reaching either side of the smoothie and that you're not going too fast, because you'll hear that if you're too fast, you're not giving the balls time to connect. So they really need to connect. And you need to have that sound and that consistency. Okay, so just keep going like that and keep going up to, you should be up near your thigh now, up to the top of the thigh. Okay, so really just feel the vibrations going through your legs. So if you're familiar with smoothie, you know that the vibrations travel down um, through the body. So you have receptors here, so the signal will transfer down through the body. And we want to just come up and down, nice and slowly, up and down the leg, okay? So when you've gone up once, now just one more quick one, up and down. Okay, so we really want to get the vibrations moving from side to side. And once we have gone up and down twice, then I just want you to change direction, go back over the knee there. But I want you to change direction then, and go, instead of going side to side, go from your knee to your thigh, just rolling up, up and down. Rolling up and down from the outside of the leg. You really want to get all parts of the leg to the inside. So a couple of times there, rolling over both legs, both sides, over and back, over and back, okay? So what we've done on the start of it, we've gone from side to side here, and now we're going up and down. And this is because our energy and our lymphatic system flow up the way. So we're helping shift the energy and shift our lymph, 
of our lymph flow by going in this direction, okay? So now I'd like you just to put the smoothies to the side and lift that leg you're working on. Oh, and I can notice that in three minutes, might be less, that the, your leg will feel so much lighter, okay? So that just goes to show the effect that the smoothies has. And just for balance, we're going to do the other side now, okay? So I really want you to do this every day, whether or not you, you know, have time for a full exercise routine, it's really important to do this. For many rate, you'll get so many benefit off it, just from the massage only, even if you only do that, because this massage here, it's going in through your muscles, it's going in through your fascia, and that holds all your pain receptors. So if, re if you are having pain in your legs or anything like this, it's really good to massage your legs with them and that will help reduce pain. But also it really supports your lymphatic system. So unlike our heart, which is our cardiovascular system, has a cardiovascular system and it has a pump and it pumps the blood, the blood around our body. Our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump and it only is really used when we activate our muscles. So by having the vibrations going through our legs here, it's really helping to massage the muscles and activate your muscles, okay? And so we're going up and down and up and down. And actually, if anybody, you know, you should Google uh, Dr. Robert Schill. He's on the medical board for Smoothie Med. So if you check out the Facebook, smoothiehealth.com, you'll see there is doctors and neurologists and scientists that are on the medical board. And one of the most respected doctors in the world with fascia, Dr. Robert Schilp, is on board the medical of Smoothie Med. And he describes the importance of our fascia and how to maintain fascia and especially for people with limited mobility so have a look up that you get some really great information so you can see there both legs now are much lighter than they were before okay so this will really help especially you know if you have pins and needles or restless legs or heavy legs so pain in your legs okay so now we just want to do some shoulder warm-ups before we start so bring our shoulders back Okay, so you can bring both of them back at the same time. Do five, four, three, two, one, and bring them forward. Five, four, three, two, one, and now we're going to alternate a right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Two more, and then we're gonna go forwards. Okay, so just give us a nice loosen up here. Okay, so two more on either side, that's perfect. Okay, now I'd like you to look to the right. And if you can look over your shoulder or go as far as what's comfortable for you. Five, four, three, two, one. And now change and look over your left shoulder. Okay, so again, just give a nice little stretch here and just whatever feels good and comfortable for you. For five, four, three, two, one. And one last one. Just look up at the ceiling and bring your head back. Again, nice and whatever is comfortable for you for five, four, three, two, one. And now uh, that's perfect, okay? So now we've got our shoulders warm up, we have our legs warm up, we're going to do a nice little core four moves, okay? So when we're sitting here, if we have nice and straight, you can bring your bottom back that you're nice and straight in your chair. When you're holding your smoothies, Hold them with your thumb there, so your thumb on the blue ridge here, and this is because your thumb is more sensitive here, so it can pick up the vibrations. But also, your thumb here correlates to your spine, so just like um, the soles of your feet with reflex zones, same with the palm of your hand. So when we swing the smoothies, the vibration goes into different organs, different parts of your body, and the 
your finger, your thumb here represents your spine. So holding like this will help uh, activate and have the vibrations going up and down your spine, okay? So a nice hold like that. And also when you go to the side, then it gives more support for your wrists, okay? Now, perfect. So we now we go, we're gonna hold the smoothies like that. Yeah, okay, and when we swing them, I'm just going to show you first before we are swing together. When you swing them, you're really swinging them from your shoulder and not your elbow. So not like that, but more like a pendulum swing. You see here, so not like this, but like this, yeah. Okay. So just for the warm up, we're going to go nice and easy, just nice and steady. Okay, so we'll do 30 that are just up to a mid range, just for warm up. halfway so you should be noticing you're warming up a little bit now so the smoothies here you're just swinging from side to side we're opening up our arms here increasing the range of motion okay so just nice easy moves okay nothing too strenuous so far and the brilliant thing about smoothies is you can make them as hard or as easy as you like, okay? So now we're going to cross over and go into a crisscross pattern here. So if you can bring your smoothies out nice and wide, and you really see you can open out your chest area here and really good to release tension from your shoulders and neck area. And I know a lot of people, especially in wheelchairs, will have a lot of tension in their shoulders and neck. So this is really a great one. And you really want to bring it out nice and wide and really release the tightness in the muscles there. Three, two, one, and change. 
change. And we're bringing them over to the side now. So it's just swinging from side to side. Okay, that's great. arms and opposite legs beg your pardon opposite arms and opposite legs okay and now we're going to change that we bring the opposite arm down to the opposite leg so bring it down and by crossing over here you are helping with your balance and coordination because the left hand side of the brain controls the right hand side of the body and the right hand side of the brain controls the left hand side of the body. So when you're crossing your hemisphere, your axis and your hem both hemispheres of your brain and use it simultaneously, that is helping with balance and coordination. So while this is class for people in wheelchairs or limited mobility, you still might be up walking and balance exercise very good, okay? And we all can do with help with coordination. Okay, very good. And we're just going to do a few more exercises now before we work on the cool down, okay? So hold the smoothies together. With your thumb on this part here and we're going to lift them over our head okay so join them together i'm going to lift over our head we're going to do 30 of these very good for increasing your core strength and your upper body strength halfway the third way there Halfway there. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And now the last exercise before we do a cool down is working really on our biceps here so again our upper body strength which people in wheelchairs really have if you're in a wheelchair a long time or recently in um, a wheelchair you will need to work on your upper body strength so this is a really great one so we're going to do it with the right hand first so we're going to swing to the side and then away as if you're throwing a frisbee away so Side away, side away, and you can work on normally one side is stronger than the other, so whichever is your weaker side, you can do even more exercise on these on that side, okay? So you'll notice very easily that my left hand side is the weaker one now when I go on to that. Okay, so I'll just do five more of these. Four, three, two, one. Now my left hand side, okay, so turn it over so it makes it a little bit heavier, okay, so we're not doing it like this, we're turning it over and that makes it heavier. So just go to the side away, side away. Away. 
way. Side away. Side away. Okay, so you'll notice with these they're so much heavier turned around, but really great for working on your core body strength. And great for the bingo wings, ladies. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do five more, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to do ten together. So both arms side away. Okay, so ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Okay, excellent. So we're just going to do some nice easy massages just to finish up and cool down okay so we're just going to do just a minute here of just nice you know, try and bang your hands <laughs> just nice little cool down here so bringing our body back okay so hopefully you've built up the sweat and you can really feel that workout okay Okay, and there's lots of variations. That's just one we've done there now, but I will do more. You can check them out on smoothiehealth.com. Okay, so how we're going to finish up then, we're going to do three little moves, okay? So if you put your smoothies into your hands and just put them over your shoulder, always ensuring that the handle is facing up the way, okay? And if you remember earlier, I said about our lymphatic system. So the smoothies are brilliant for helping our lymphatic system. And again, the lymphatic system, unlike the cardiovascular system, doesn't have a pump to pump the lymph, no, lymph fluid around. So what it does is it only works when our muscles are activated. So the vibrations going through the whole body is after activating the muscles and it's really helping increase the flow of the lymphatic system. And this will really help support your immune system. So as our energy lines, the lymphatic, the lymph flows up towards the body, so up towards the heart. So from your toes up towards your heart. And now we're going to give ourselves a little lymphatic massage. So we have lymph nodes all under our body, but the main, all under our skin, but the main clusters of them are in our neck, under our arms, in our groin, and at the back of the knee. So if you massage any of those areas, it activates your lymphatic system and it'll help the toxins break down. So it's always recommended to have a large glass of water after any smoothie session. And if you can't put in any like lemon or orange or lime or any citrus fruits, all the better. Now, so I just want you to move from side to side and you'll automatically notice, you'll feel the vibrations underneath your arm. And you really have to notice that, I hear that sound as well. Okay, now some people prefer, if you want to bring your bum to the middle of the chair, we'll say, some people prefer to rock, going forward and back like that. Or some people prefer to do it like this. So it's really just your own personal preference, whatever you prefer to do. Just going over and back, over and back. And it's only working if you hear the sound. So if you're moving and there's no sound coming out, so you can hear now, I'm moving, but there's no sound coming out. That's not working, okay? You need to hear the sound, okay? And the second last one is probably one of the most important for somebody that's in wheelchairs. And that is, um, to help your digestive system, especially if anybody has any 
pain in their tummy or gets constipation or anything like that. So anybody who would be on a lot of medication would really get constipated. So this is one of the most natural ways to relieve that, okay? So it's really fantastic. So if you can do 15 minutes of this, we'll only be doing a few minutes because of this demonstration. But if you, can, if you have constipation and can do this for 15 minutes, you will have a relief, okay? Please don't do this if you're going to go out somewhere to, like, especially if you're going on a long bus journey or something like this, you don't want to be caught out, okay? But really good to do. If you've got a pain in your hip or pain any place in your body, just massage it so you can bring it over to your hips or anywhere you like, okay? So you can check out the Facebook page or Smoothie Health or the website and you'll see a lot more um, uses for smoothie but also look up massage for smoothie and you'll see all different ways in which we do massage okay and the very last bit then which is one of my favorites it's we call it a minute of mindfulness and swear all the vibrations are just going into your chest so you're just you're just um, holding your smoothies against your chest like this, crossing over and just going from side to side. If you can use this time to really work on your breathing and forget about everything else, only the sound and the feeling of the vibrations. So always when you're breathing, breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, okay? continue on yourself and it's if you ever get like anxious or nervous or you have any like anxiety like this this is really great to help release that and it's bringing your system from a sympathetic to a parasympathetic state so if you google dr peter levine dr peter levine is one of the world's most famous psychotherapists in dealing with mental and physical trauma and dr levine recommends smoothie to everybody, to his practitioners, to his patients, to everybody. And the one of the reasons is this part here because it helps bring the body back to homeostasis. It really helps relax you. And um, we all could do with more relaxation. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me or contact me, contact me through the Facebook page, Smoothie Health or smoothiehealth.com. Okay, have a lovely day. Take care. God bless. Bye.